morning, and welcome to Blue Eyes News on the Sick News Network. Today is Thursday, January 21st. I'm Justin, and on to weather. Welcome to your weather. Today, our high will be around 54, with a low being around 25, partly cloudy with no precipitation. The temps will remain in the mid-40s and 50s through the weekend. Friday, there's a 20% chance of precipitation, and looking ahead to Sunday, there's a 50% precipitation chance, and Monday, a 70% chance of precipitation. The temperatures will remain in the upper to mid 40s throughout the rest of your week. And that's all for your weather. Welcome to your local news. Seniors, please turn your picture and letter form into Mrs. Miller as soon as possible. Next Monday, progress reports come out. Next Wednesday, Jostens will be here to hand out class ring info at 8.15. Also on Wednesday, there's a drama play at 6 here in the Commons. Next Friday is a half day of school. Beginning next Monday, before school from 7 to 8 or after school from 3 to 5, classes will be allowed to work on their banners for homecoming. Days this week will be Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday only to work. That is all for your local news. Welcome to your lunch and breakfast menus. For breakfast tomorrow, you have the choice of biscuits and gravy with sausage or cereal and a muffin square, or chilled fruit served with fruit juice and milk. For lunch, we will be having che cheese pizza, crispy chicken wrap, or salad. Your sides will be peaches, fresh garden salad, chilled fruit, and milk. And that's all for your menus. Hello and welcome to birthdays. We have no local birthdays, but we do have a famous birthday. That is Hakeem Olajuwon. He played center for the Houston Rockets and Toronto Raptors. Did you know that he didn't start playing basketball until he was 15 years old? And that's all for your birthdays. Welcome to sports. Today, the girls will be traveling to Fair Grove to play the Eagles at 6. This game will be live streamed on our school's YouTube channel. Tomorrow, the boys basketball team will play the Cassville Wildcats at 6 in the Spokane Tournament. If they win, they will play at 3 on Saturday. And if they lose, they will play at 1.30 on Saturday. These games will also be live streamed to the YouTube channel. That's all for your sports. Today is National Squirrel Appreciation Day, the day where we show the little buddies respect and appreciation. Uh, that's it. There's not much to it. Uh, they usually give them nuts at parks. So uh, you can do that, I guess, but that, that's all. That's all for the Sick News Network. But don't forget, we're not just the news. We're the news of a Z. Would you rather never wear pants or never wear shorts? I would rather never wear shorts. Thank you very much. Never wear pants. Thank you. I would much rather never wear pants. Thank you very much. Shorts. Thank you. And now for your random fact. The origins of Chicago's famous nickname, the Windy City, are not entirely clear. The most obvious explanation is that it comes from the frigid breezes that blow off Lake Michigan and sweep through the city streets. However, another popular theory holds that it was coined as a reference to Chicago's references and politicians who deemed to be full of air by New York Sun newspaper editor Charles Dana. He said this in reference to New York and Chicago fighting over the World Fair that Chicago eventually won, and he said, don't listen to the nonsensical claims of that windy city. And that's all for your random fact. <laughs> 